mother-in-law was there. Okay. And she had her Good morning. Yep. Room. Awesome. I started. Good evening. My name is Mary Maslowski. I'm the chair of the Historic District and Historical Commission. We're going to call to order the meeting for Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. It is 6 p.m. The meeting is being held at 732 Main Street in the small hearing room at Town Hall. Um, we're going to start with a roll call, please. Bob Doan. Brendan Lowney. Paul Doan. Lynn Zalasak. Tilly Aldridge. Um, before we begin, um, I just want to read the notice. According to Mass Law, anyone who attends to record the meeting must first notify the chair. Is anybody intending to audio or video record the meeting? Hearing none, we will start by calling to order the public hearing for HH 2024-06. It is JSLW LLC owner has filed a notice of intent through their agent, John Cassell. The project uh, proposes a partial demolition to replace windows, siding, and doors and to add an addition. Uh, the structure is over 100 years old, according to the state and town assessing records, and is located at 585 Route 28, Map 14, Parcel Y3. Y3. It was continued from the original uh, posted date, or I guess non-posted date of 4-27-2024. Uh, uh, thank you for coming back this evening. Um, we are, we are our really only agenda item as we are uh, looking to... Uh, vacate so that the Zoning Board of Appeals can be on time for their meeting. So we should be able to move you through tonight. Um, if you could state your names for the record, Absolutely. Please. And thank you, Madam Chair, and the rest of the committee for hearing this so quickly. Uh, Jeff Handler uh, from Harwich, and I'm representing JSLW here, who's my father-in-law. Jeff Lang. Charlie Whitman with the Building and Model. So, Madam Chair, as you can see, the cast of characters tonight's a little <laughs> bit different than what we had last time. But... Um, Hopefully, we'll be able to answer all of the questions that the committee has. Great. So just before we get started, um, we're here for a notice of intent. So just to clarify for everybody um, in the audience and those watching, um, our mission tonight is either to uh, uh, allow the demolition to go forward or the other option this board has is to impose a demolition delay, which under our bylaw can be up to 12 months. Um, that being said, just for clarification, a um, for this board a quorum is four, so it would take four votes to approve. It's been a long time since we've had six people <laughs> in the room, so I'm, I'm taking that as a positive. Uh, okay, great. So if you could just go through your application for us uh, briefly, and then we'll start with questions. Sure. Thank you, Madam Chair. And the first thing I would uh, question is a partial demolition. I don't believe, other than siding, unless that counts in as partial so demolition. It, so it does. It Our, does, okay. Any, anything that's being removed from the building is considered a demolition, Fair even if, and, um, if you're removing a window, if you're removing a shingle. Okay. So technically that's what, it, that's what prompts demolition the demolition. Demolition sounds so violent. If I, it does, <laughs> but for example, hard. We, we had one in, we had one in the, in the campground and, uh, they were literally cutting a hole in an out exterior wall to make a door so that they could then add a garage sure. with an interior sure. door that was considered demolition. Understood. So it is as small and as insignificant as something like that. So. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, to give you a brief history of how we, are, how we have got here today, uh, my mother-in-law, who's a fantastic uh, uh, entrepreneur, she owns two stores in Chatham. And back in the 80s, she owned <clears throat> a clothing store in Harwichport called the Harwich Connection. Mm -hmm. And when this property here on the corner of Bank and Main, 585 Route 28, came available, <clears throat> I knew exactly where she was going to go with her interest. We took a look at the property. We obtained the property just about a year ago, I would say, or a little less. And through a lot of work and planning, we've decided that it does fit and suit the needs of a clothing store for Harwichport. Um, but the key intent of ours as a group is to maintain that second floor unit apartment as an apartment for workforce housing, whether it be for uh, our business, my mother-in-law, I call it ours, my mother-in-law's business, or another local business. It will not be a Airbnb, 
It will be something that will be germane and important to the town's issue, as other Cape Cod towns have the same issue of housing. In order to do that, we are looking to add a bit of a basement on the parking lot side. On top of that basement would be a first floor uh, retail space that will become ADA accessible because right now it's a pretty challenging building for anybody to get into um, who is disabled or handicapped. Mm -hmm. You can see on your plan there is a ramp uh, that will allow patrons from the parking lot to enter into the building. <coughs> and the proposed front of the building will be reduced from two doors and three huge windows to one door in the middle with a ramp and two windows on the right and the left. That's the proposed. Upstairs, in the added space, would be office space and that office space would 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 have taken up the apartment but we would like to keep the apartment so we would like to just add a little bit of a second floor space to allow for two offices and some storage so that is how we have gotten here tonight okay so let's start Bob do you want to start with some questions uh, yeah it's the um question about this um, the windows yes because you don't have a spec sheet of exactly what you're going to use right and I think that my main concern is at least on the lower level they all have external applied grills mm -hmm. which looks really good mm -hmm. in Howitchport unfortunately I guess the second floor windows were replaced those were replaced about maybe four months ago yeah unfortunately I guess I don't know what was there before but they're only internal grills mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you can really tell the difference mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so uh, my request would be particularly well you know you've already done the second floor windows right, but right. anything on the first floor you're going to do the new windows that they do have external um, grills applied thank you yeah love the design looks great yeah. um to bob just mm -hmm. uh looking at the windows that took a drive by and uh I looked at the permits, it looks like you did pull a permit for the uppers and didn't come in front of us. Um, and this is where we probably would have caught that, you know, yeah. to have mm -hmm. you do mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, the in between the glass already exists, but I think on the bottom windows, I would, I would still probably like to see that. Yeah. So Anderson 4 and series, which you have selected uh, with the five grills. Sure. Thank you. Paul. Uh, the only thing that caught my my eye, I don't have any real strong objection or concern at all. I think it, it's got to uh, be an improvement we are proposing. But the only thing that caught my eye was the, the access to the new pod is substantially different in its appearance than the, the existing uh, access. Uh, what's the thinking there? I mean, what are the columns? And it looks like it's either something that should be also done to the existing part of the building or uh, why the... Yeah, sure. Thank you, Mr. Doan. <coughs> You're referring to the side of the building where the parking lot is. Is that correct? Uh, well, maybe I... I thought it's the when I go right to the picture, you had, it was a... Oh, this? Yeah, that picture. Look at the elevation there. Yeah, that would be the side. Uh, I'm sorry, that's the, that's the front, I right, believe. I guess it's proposed north exterior elevator. I propose north. North to me is on Main Street, right? Right. Okay. So it's the front of the building. I mean, it's where you used to go into Bonats. Right, right, right. Many times. Uh, right. And uh, so you've removed two doors. You've got the one door, new door. Mm -hmm. But you're also... It, you've got this window over here to the right. So that's the addition. That's the addition in these, uh, these columns. And right. I'm just trying to determine right. why are you changing the... Okay, now I understand. So that side of the building requires the ramp and a deck. So our architect... Um, a deck up top? Or no, no, no. A, a deck to get up or from the ramp see, yeah. into the Line. building to yeah. make it uh, ADA compliant and wide enough 
for um, people to go in and out from the parking lot. It's a side door there. Wait a minute. It, this thing seems to show a step. I understand the side. I'm not. But uh, it's coming from the back, Paul. I think it's coming up the side. That's right. right. So you're coming, coming up up the back and then up the side. And there's you're a side. Like a 90 degree angle there. You're going to come along the south. It's going to come along the south facade, and then it's going to come up the the west facade to the front of the building on the north. So it's a 90 degree angle on the ramp that's coming up to so that they have enough um, enough grade to yeah. to make the transition. Okay, but that but that's talking about the ramp access. I'm talking about this this. That's where the ramp's going to come. This is just a porch. Is, this, is there something? That's where the, the ramp, ramp is coming in the side the of that porch. That. And then there's a door there. See, if you look at the side here, you see it comes up. So you do walk along this under this uh, porch, and that's right. some sort of a covering or that's awning right. or whatever. That's correct. Uh, and the step in front is somebody who could come in from the sidewalk, step up there, and go in. That's correct. And, and can you explain to me why you have the columns? Just I to think support just, the roof? Just to support the roof. Charlie, would you say that? Yeah, that's what it is. Yep. Give some coverage there too. Okay. I mean, to me, it, 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 it just looks strange with those columns there, and I don't think they're absolutely necessary for support. Okay. Uh, I'm not trying to. Make it. I, I appreciate your opinion. No, I, I appreciate your opinion uh, and happy to, it, to it, kick it around a little. Just from an appearance standpoint, um, either that or put some columns on the rest. Okay. Thank you. And personally, I like the new design. Thank you. The way it looks it makes a lot of sense, and it follows the basic uh, original design of the, the building and what it looks like to me. Yeah. So. Yeah, I did a great job of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Yep. Julie? Same thing. I like Bob's comment on the windows and. Yeah, nice improvement. Thank you very much. Very nice. Now, um, my only question is, did I miss um, what the doors are going to be? Are they going to be gla full glass doors or are they going to be? We like the full glass doors. Okay. Like what they're existing now. That's exactly yeah. right. Okay. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't mind the columns. I think the columns are you know, a necessary evil, and I understand that you probably need the light and the platform to, to get your your rise correct. Um, any questions from the public? Regarding this, no. I okay. Thank you. Okay. Get one more question? Yeah, go right ahead. Um, on the um, ADA compliant ramp, did they not make you do continuous rally system? Are they going to make you do There will be one, yes. There will be one, rally yes. on the building. Yep, on the inside. On the inside. I'm just curious. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other questions from the board? Uh, maybe just one, and that is uh, uh, upstairs, uh, the office you're talking about, is that associated with the ground floor business, or would it be a separate uh, uh, property? Great question, yep. and thank you for the question. That would be for our business use. That is not going to be a rented office to another business. So it's part of it is part of our project. First floor operation. That's exactly right. Thank you. So, is the board ready to take an action? Just yep, just go ahead. One yep, comment. Please. I mean, um, you're willing if we put in the permit that to use applied grills on the outside wall for 100%. 100%. 100%. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure. Thank you. All right. So, if everybody's ready, Chair, will entertain a motion to close public hearing. So moved. Second. Bob's made the motion. Lynn has made the second. All those in favor of closing the public hearing? Aye. 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 Any in opposition hearing none passes six nothing. Now Brendan, you look like you're ready to go forward and I'm looking at you. Motion to approve case number HH two zero two four zero six. You might have the only one right on it. Okay. Do you need one? Filing date March twenty second, two thousand and twenty four. 
date of hearing for 2424 property map parcel 585 rate 28 map 14 parcel y3 owners jslw llc applicant john sale <coughs> recording information bk357661 the building was built between 1800 and 1850 proposed work partial demolition Description of work, replace windows, siding, doors, and add an addition. Significant, historical significance, <clears throat> it is listed, Macros HRW9191, and it is directly associated with one or more historical noteworthy persons. Uh, noted in the application, Heather B. Nickerson. And it is listed in the town's historic property inventory. The proposed demolition would not destroy, substantially diminish the historic value. Determination, no demolition delay period imposed. Conditions are to have Anderson 400 series with applied grills. In reference, the plan to dated to 224. So Anderson 400 series with windows. applied grills. I'm referencing the 400 because it was in your plans. Of course. I'm just assuming, yeah, I I was assuming that. Thank you. With the five grills. Mm -hmm. um, and then referencing plans dated February 2nd, 2024. February 2nd, you said? Yes. Okay, so condition is just Anderson 400 series windows with applied grills in, uh, in accordance with the plans dated February 2nd, 2024. So we have a motion that's been made by Brendan. Second. Second, Second. by Bob. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any in opposition? Hearing none, motion carries 6 nothing. Thank you all very much. Thank you. And, Thank you. and it, as a side note, um, I have contacted the Alice Bonat, yeah. and we are interested in finger, figuring out a way that we can legally and forever name the building the Bonat Building. Oh. <laughs> so she was very happy about that, and I thought you all should know that as well, given the history. And I was going to mention something email. during the mo motion about historic figures. Definitely yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Even more yeah. than yeah. Ms. Nickerson. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, she throw in some melt away. Listen, I'm going to tell her if, she, if, if we name the building after her, I want the, uh, the recipe. Uh, uh, and then we'll uh, sell them out of side window. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, they, I thought it was, yeah, that was it, it was, no, it was always there. Oh, it, it was there the first. It moved up to the fourth It moved up to the fourth yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no. That was it was there always on the corner. Creaky floors. Until the 90s, probably, right? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. lined out the out the yeah. uh, along the main street. You were right. there by six o'clock. So we got about we got about five minutes before we should vacate to let okay. um, let ZBA in. Um, do we have a motion to approve the meeting minutes from March twentieth? So approved. So Bob's made a motion. Is there a second? Second. Julie, was that you? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Hearing any opposition? Motion carries six nothing. Uh, we've got, I don't think we have anything for new business, anything for old business. I know you were here. Well, thank is, you. Is there, yes, I really we're just under, I apologize, we were under a little different. bit of a time crunch I, because I of be, ZBA. Be um, I'm here to get some ducks lined up in my head about the, uh, the per, your board's purview and mm -hmm. in an historic district. And I, uh, because it, it, in my head, pertains to an article that will be before a town meeting. Uh, do you uh, oversee or have an opinion about uh, streetscape as well as uh, on Main Street as well as the building itself? So, yeah. our under the historic district, it is about the streetscape and the. It's whatever when we're reviewing something. It's whatever we can see from a public location, whether it's street, uh, public parking lot, a public yeah. right of way. So that's. I surmised as much, but I just yeah. wanted to. Be Clear on it, then. Um, then you might be aware of Article 37. Uh, I, I presume you, the board, must be. I don't know what the number is off the it's top of my head. It has to do with cutting the trees down in front of Brooks, mm -hmm. Brooks Library, mm -hmm. and um, taking out the wrinkles in the pavement. 
to the tune of, best I understand it, about $115,000. And I'm curious to see if, uh, if this board thinks that has sufficient merit. So all I can say is it isn't agended, so it's not something that we could deliberate and actually make a decision will on you or come in. That's, part, that's another of my uh, questions. I don't, Do we they, we will not meet again before town meeting. No. Well, what I'm saying is, when if, let's say it's voted to go ahead with this $115,000. Which in and of itself is not a lot of money given the town budget, but it does suggest uh, there may be a little bit of confusion between needs and wants. I would challenge anybody to say to me that, that this work. So I don't. Is, is, I'll be honest uh, with you. Be considered a need. I'll be honest with you. I don't know whether we would have the purview on just cutting down trees relative to we well, we do speak to landscaping when it comes to. A building, but I don't know whether just trees alone would well, fall under our purview. The they plan to redo the whole pavement. Right. So I mean, sidewalk, yes. Okay. So would would have to um, we'd have to look into that a little bit further, I would say. Yeah. But um, certainly something that that we will do um, if it's going to come before us. Well, that helps me out. All right. Um, I uh, I can't imagine with all the money the town needs why. I encourage you all uh, to go over there on the on the way home tonight and look at the wrinkles uh, in the brick and tell me that that's worth $115,000. Oh, that's what I'm trying to say. And I don't think any of you would say so. So that's where so my, my problem is the, this want to spend money because somebody's decided it needs to be an article. So I would just suggest that we have that conversation at town meeting. Oh, I'm it's, wondering, but I'm again, it's not something we can no, no, we I, can I, really I, I, even I, I, uh, I, entertain because we are, you know. I'm only here to establish that it is within your purview. Yeah. Thanks. Thank All you. right. Thanks. Bye now. Uh, we will entertain a motion to dismiss, to adjourn, or whatever we're called. So moved. The motion has been made by Lynn, seconded by Paul. To adjourn. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. In opposition, hearing none, motion carries. We can officially vacate.